Hi everybody, we are at Swift Watch here at the Natural History Society of Maryland. We're across the street at St. Michael's Church. Let me get it behind me. Whoa, there we go. And if I can turn the around, we have a whole bunch of folks. Wave everybody. Yay for the Swifts. They're watching on this side. There's our building in the background. We have folks all the way up there by the building tailgating to watch the Swifts. They've been circling around trying to decide. They were getting close. But as Swifts do, they decided it wasn't the right time yet. But they'll head in. Hi, Kathy, who's joined us on Facebook Live. I don't know. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you can see it with this. So they're really circling around now. These birds are on a 6,000 mile migration and they're stopping here. They're going to be heading down to Peru to uh, summer in Peru, which sounds very nice. <laughs> we have all kinds of birders and their binoculars ready. Say hi. And they're going to be counting. We're going to get our count on. See how many chimney swifts are going to be going into our chimney tonight. Natural phenomenon are happening all around us if we just know where and when to look. And that's what we do at the Natural History Society of Maryland is help you figure out where and when to look. We'll see some of our bird watchers here. Hello. Yeah. We get closer up here. They're really coming in now. They're coming in. I know it's hard to see on my 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 uh, phone here, but they are circling around. Say hi, everybody. You ready to count? of our watchers oh yeah if y'all can really see them now coming in they're flying by they're getting ready to do their tornado And it's almost like magic. You see them and then they just disappear. They're scoping out the crowd. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I don't know if that makes it. Oh yeah, I think that that's, you can see it a little bit better. When I zoom in, 
my camera isn't that great, but I, you can see kind of a swarm going around there. And you can see them swarming. How's your count coming? It's really exciting being here, watching birds with other folks. Is this the first time that you've seen Watch the Chimney Swifts or you've been no, watching them? No, I, this is the first. This is your first, okay, all right. But it won't be your last. I went over to Glenmore. Oh, you did? But there was no one there. Uh huh, okay. Oh, I'm going to go check out St. Michael. Yeah, well, here we are. <laughs> and you can also look for chimneys in older buildings um, in areas in, in uh, uh, urban and suburban. Look, they're really getting up, getting growing now um, areas. And they have to be uncapped. If there's a cap on them, you can see this chimney right here, it has a cap. They can't go into that. It has to be an uncapped chimney uh, for them to go into. Um, something like this bell tower, you would think, oh, maybe they go into that. No, they can't. They can't fly up and around because they drop. They literally drop into the chimneys as they go down. Uh, so it has to be open. And they, they migrate together in these larger masses as they're going um, down to Peru. When they're coming up in the spring, they, it's only one pair of chimney swifts per chimney. And that's where they have a nest and have their babies. Um, but then as they are migrating to and from, they migrate in more of a communal roost setting. Um, for the evenings because they have to fly. They fly, fly, fly. They do everything flying. Um, they eat flying. They, uh, the, they drink flying. They don't sleep flying. But the legs, they do not perch. They do not know how, they cannot perch. They cannot stand. So when they are, they don't rest. They're just constantly flying until they're coming in to go to sleep. And you can see they're making this tornado effect here uh, coming in I need y'all to get your countings on and um, uh, so they they roost hanging on the side of a chimney now if it has a it has to have a rough surface to it or it can't cling on so if the newer chimneys that have a metal interior those birds they that is not a chimney swift um friendly uh area and a lot of people are worried you know oh is it gonna is it gonna hurt my chimney um is there gonna be a problem uh, if you go on to the uh, baltimore i mean the maryland bird conservation partnership there's a whole a lot of information about when you can clean your chimneys and if you want to cap your chimney obviously that's fine but you might want to create a chimney swift tower just like we put up bird boxes um, or bat boxes or to help uh, give those uh, animals a place to stay, you can construct a chimney swift tower in your backyard and that gives them um, a place to put up their nest and have their young. Um, uh, and that would be a, a great asset. So if you look up chimney swift tower, you could put one maybe at a school in your own backyard. Uh, lots of uh, community organizations are now putting those up. So please, uh, you can do some research on that and help them. Because these are insectivores. They eat tons and tons of mosquitoes and flies and a lot of uh, insects that we call nuisance. So these birds really help. But with the decline in insects, there's also been a 70% decline in the chimney swift population over since the 1970s are they going in get get your counting in and uh, 
So they need our help. Um, but it really is a phenomenon that's going on here. Uh, and to learn more, please join us at the Natural History Society of Maryland. There's also, uh, we have a, on our YouTube station, which is Maryland Nature, uh, you can see a presentation that was done on the Chimney Swift by Chris Eberly, the executive director of the Maryland Bird Conservation Partnership. Um, and I highly recommend it. It is a very, very, very fascinating uh, presentation that he gave on these birds, which is uh, amazing. So um, if you can't be here, I'm, I'm hoping that you can get a little glimpse of what we are looking at and experiencing as the birds are deciding. I mean, all of these birds are going into that one chimney. Think about the engineering and physics involved and the cooperation. How, if, could you imagine getting a whole group of, let's say, five or 600 people into a very small space? I mean, is it good to be the first bird in or the last bird in? I'm not sure. Um, But let's see. I'm glad that you're joining us here to watch this chimney swifts go in tonight. It's really quite fun and amazing. They're circling around. John, what do you mean you can't have you not seen them before? Can you see him not see him in the in the video here? Um, all the little black specks that are in the video. I know it's not. Oh, there they go. There they go. 10. Oh. Get the count on. I wish my camera was better, but it gives you a, a little bit of a glimpse of what's going on. And you can hear, we are in the middle of a city. We're in Baltimore uh, watching this natural phenomenon. Just like I said, nature is all around us. It is not separate from us. We are a part of nature and we just need to know where to look. And if we just keep opening up our eyes, we can see these amazing things that are all around us. Um, but here they, they are. They're all going to go into this single um, chimney here, rest for the night, and then keep heading on to Peru and the Amazon. This is the Chimney Watch night with the Natural History Society of Maryland. Um, they've, oh, 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 they're going in. Ten. I hope y'all are counting. You have to kind of get a, 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 a mental picture of what ten looks like when you're going in. You see how they just drop in. It's, it's, it's. They're just dropping in. It really is a bird tornado. And then they figure out what the best way to go in and then they, I, I, it's, it, it's amazing. Well, it's, it takes, uh, usually when they get started, it's, uh, it only is about five minutes before they're all really in. See how they're all going in? They kind of get, get, a, get a momentum and they are uh, heading in. They have to figure it out. It goes pretty quickly. 
once they get started. I hope y'all are counting. Yeah, you can come out. To, uh, you should, should still be able to come out tomorrow night. Um, this is the, the 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 top of the migration as they're heading down south. Um, here and at the Glenmont School, there's also a, a chimney. There's a map on um, the, like I keep saying, the Maryland Conser uh, Bird Conservation Partnership that has different chimneys in and around the area. And there's one in Hamden at the book bindery. Um, and again, we want you to also just start looking around to see if there are chimneys around you. Uh, we've had several people that said there's some in their neighborhoods. Um, so if you live in an older neighborhood, uh, take a look at different schools and different industries that may be around and have these types of chimneys. We're like looking to monitor um, where they are roosting and all of that data goes into a, a database so that we can help track the populations. And the counting, somebody asked that on Facebook, is you try to get a, 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 a visual of what 10 birds look like going in and then you can go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, like that as, they, as they're heading in to the chimney. Um, and then you're kind of keeping a clicker count of how many tins are going in. So we're coming down to the end. Um, as they are heading in. They also come back up in the spring. Um, they were here, but in very, very smaller numbers because they're, they're really trying, they spread out in the spring. And I, like I mentioned before, they are, uh, couples go off and find their own chimney and that's where they have build their nest and have, um, have the babies. So this is the, the big party coming back, going down to South America. So 10, 10, 10, 10, something like And remember, just think about it. All of them are hanging on the sides of the wall. Sorry? They're clinging onto the sides of the, uh, of the chimney and that's where they're gonna go to sleep. All of them together, just chilling. These insectivores, which means that they eat insects. Very important. Oh, it's coming down to the last ones coming in. There's a few more stragglers. A few more stragglers. And uh, you can look on Google too. There's some videos of, that's it. All right, everybody, let's give them a hand. Woo! Woo! Yay for the Swifts. They did it. They're in for the night. Thank you all for joining us and um, look on Google because there are some um, videos. There are videos of inside of a chimney and you can kind of see them coming in, which is awesome. So learn more about the chimney swifts and see how you can help, um, help these, these amazing birds. And now we wish them well on their trip to Peru. Uh, we'll have a wonderful evening. Good night.